फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर डेप्टी चेयरमैन आई राइज टू स्पोर्ट द बिल द बिल डील्स विद सम ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ अ वेरी यूजफुल मेजर टिल 1948 इन दिस कंट्री वी हैड द लेजिस्लेशन टू डील विद द मिनिमम वेज प्रॉब्लम ऑल वेजिस पर्टिकुलरली मिनिमम वेजिस इन द कंट्री वर फिक्सड बाय ट्राइबूनल्स एंड अर्लियर देन द ट्राइबूनल्स दे वर फिक्सड बाय सम कमेटीज वी इन उत्तर प्रदेश फॉर एग्जाम्पल हैड द गुड फॉर्चून ऑफ द मिनिमम वेज ऑफ टेक्सटाइल लेबर इन कानपुर बींग फिक्सड बाय अ कमेटी इन नाइनटीन थर्टी एट ओवर विच डॉक्टर राजेंद्र प्रसाद नाउ द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया हिमसेल्फ प्रेजाइडिड इन बॉम्बे दे हैड अ कमेटी विद मिस्टर जय राम दास दौलत राम एज चेयरमैन एंड दैट कमेटी फिक्सड द मिनिमम वेजिस दैट वॉज द पैटर्न ऑफ फिक्सेशन ऑफ मिनिमम वेजिस टिल नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट बट दैन दिस पैटर्न दिस शोर्ट ऑफ इंक्वायरी वॉज नॉट अ फीचर ऑफ द डे टू डे लाइफ ऑफ द वर्कर्स ऑफ द कंट्री ओनली इन केस द वर्कर्स वर वोकल ओनली इन केस द वर्कर्स वर ऑर्गेनाइज and demanded the fixation of a minimum wage the government took the unusual step of appointing an inquiry committee which took years the recommendations did not have any statutory force behind them the reports of those committees were important documents which prepared public opinion and when it was for the workers and the employers to try their strength the workers had public opinion behind them the act of 1948 was a step in the right direction a step in accordance with the convention of the ILO which makes it necessary that minimum wages should be fixed this act was a remarkable piece of legislation because it provided protection and help to workers who were by the very nature of their employment by the very nature of the industries in which they were employed not in a position to organize themselves sufficiently strongly were not in a position to win a minimum wage for themselves by their own organized strength as workers in the ahmedabad and bombay textile industry did long ago the minimum wages act was an act to help the poorest the most down trodden sections of the toiling population of our country many industries in this country were prospering on sweated labor and this act made it necessary for them to pay minimum wages these minimum wages only provided them with the barest means of subsistence and it was very necessary that it should have been done this legislation was of course necessary because the workers in most of these industries which are mentioned in parts 1 and 2 of the schedule in the parent act were not organized enough the act of 1948 has not been implemented as expeditiously and as widely as we would like there are certain industries like the tannery industry in uttar pradesh where the minimum wages have not been fixed in spite of the fact that the act is 13 years old there are other instances also from other states in the case of agricultural labor the progress has been much slower than it was expected though the original act in 1958 laid it down that the minimum wages for agricultural and industrial workers should be fixed within 3 years sir it is now 13 years since that act came into being and we find that even after these 13 years 
in the case of agricultural labor we have not done what was originally intended to be done in 3 years there are undoubtedly a number of practical difficulties but there is also a fact to be reckoned with that all the state governments are not equally enthusiastic about fixation of minimum wages for agricultural labor it is correct to say that it will be no use fixing minimum wages and not being able to enforce them but that was something which was taken into consideration when the original bill was considered when the minimum wages act of 1948 was enacted all this was taken into consideration it is only reasonable to expect that minimum wages for agricultural labor will be fixed as quickly as possible and that those states which have not done so will be pulled up by the center as best as the center can the present bill mainly deals with that situation it is correct sir as has been stated in the statement of objects and reasons of the bill in the case of those industries in the schedule those sweated industries for which this act was meant quite a substantial percentage of workers has been covered but the same cannot be said of agricultural labor it would have been much better if the government was in a position to say the same about agricultural labor it is because of lack of enthusiasm on the part of state governments that our labor ministry has come to this house stop